Hello, and welcome to the first episode of The Weldicator. In this video, I'll show you the four most common arc types used in welding. These are the dip transfer arc, the intermediate arc, the spray arc, and the pulsed arc. The dip transfer arc is found in the lower power range and is mainly used to weld light gauge metal sheets or plates between 1 and 3 millimeters thick. As it transfers only a relatively low amount of heat into the metal, this arc is particularly well suited to out of position welding and root passes. As the droplet detachment takes place in the short circuit phase of the dip transfer arc, spatter can be generated when the arc reignites. Considerably more spatter is generated during the intermediate arc which, as the name suggests, occurs in the transition phase between the dip transfer and spray arcs. This makes the arc itself extremely turbulent. The intermediate arc is used on sheets and plates measuring between 3 and 4 millimeters thick. However, its inherent characteristics mean it should be avoided entirely wherever possible. With the spray arc, a high voltage causes fine droplets to be detached that then flow into the weld pool. This is used for metal sheets and plates thicker than 4 mm, where an extremely high deposition rate is required. The pulsed arc comprises both the base current phase and pulsed current phase. The base current prevents the weld pool from solidifying and the pulsed current controls the droplet detachment and the transition into the weld pool. This arc is found in the middle power range and is favored over other arcs mainly due to its low spattering. The pulsed arc is also extremely well suited to overhead welding in position 4F. That's it for today. In the next episode, I'll show you how you can reduce spattering to a minimum, even with the dip transfer arc.